And for today, we are going to remain calm and quiet. Really going to be the calm before that winter storm reaches us as early as later tonight. As of right now, though, we're actually seeing some sunshine. This is a live look out of NIU in DeKalb. Lots of sun there, still obviously seeing a little bit of snow on the ground. We're going to stay quiet today. No active weather to look out for. Just some cloud cover rolling through as we head into tonight. So you can see that clearing here on exact track. Nice and quiet and clear, just the way we want to see it until this image changes just well drastically, especially into tonight and most of your Friday. Temperature wise, we're going to continue to fall throughout those 20s. We are in those low 30s this morning. Also going to notice a light breeze with winds gusting near 20 miles an hour. It's going to also cause temperatures to feel slightly cooler than what that thermometer may read. But we're quiet until later tonight with a lot of that activity moving through, especially after midnight. Your temperature is also going to fall into those mid 20s. Now, before any activity gets to us, first up is going to be a winter storm warning that goes into effect at 9 p.m. for Stevenson, Joe Davis, Carroll and Whiteside counties. It does feature several inches of snow with winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour, leading to blowing snow and even near blizzard like conditions possible. And much of the same verbiage is included in a winter storm watch that will go into effect for the rest of our area here in blue. This in effect at 3 a.m. Both of these warnings and alerts will go uh, will expire, I should say, at noon on Saturday. So buckle up as we are about to see some pretty active weather. As we head into tonight, you'll see a lot of that snow moving through that about two o'clock in the morning. Then here's 7 a.m. We're going to see some bursts of heavy snow move through, may even see some intense snowfall rates anywhere from an inch to two inches per hour. Then the snow becomes lighter, but you'll notice a little bit of rain does want to potentially mix in closer to I-88. That's going to, of course, limit those totals by the end of the day. But regardless, temperatures will then start to drop and the snow is going to become heavier later into your Friday once again. This is also when your winds are really going to start to pick up. So conditions are going to only deteriorate throughout your Friday before that snow starts to move out. This is 1 a.m. Saturday in the morning. Once we get our weekend started, looks like we are trending to stay dry. But as that snow moves out, it'll turn a little bit more fluffier than the wet snow that we're going to see in the morning, meaning blowing snow will be a concern. In terms of totals, this is your probability to see six inches or more, 70% if not higher for most of our areas. Area. However, when it comes to those totals, there still may be some changes, especially with those areas further south closer to Interstate 88 because mixing is possible. So we may see some lower amounts, but as far north as you go that we are expecting some higher totals between six to nine, even closer to 10 at times as well as we continue to see that activity move through most of tomorrow. So in terms of impacts, the winds are going to be the biggest difference from what we saw on Tuesday gusts over 40 miles an hour at times. That's going to lead to some very limited visibility into late Friday. Again, it moves in overnight early and then it's out by noon on Saturday. Those blizzard like conditions are going to be the biggest concern later into the day tomorrow and then dangerously cold temperatures. By Monday, your wind chill values may drop anywhere from 20 to even 30 degrees below zero. We might not even make it out of the negatives by Monday. Talk about dangerously cold. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we will see plenty of sunshine along with the bitter cold temperatures. And hey, at least we're back into the teens through the extended forecast, right, Manny? Right, Claudia, <laughs> sunny and frosty.